ArcAnim is an initiative to simplify architectural educational concepts brought to you by the team at Vify Studio. More on this later in this video, but for now, hope you enjoy our content. Because you uh, ask a lot how we how we start the project, this is a starting project. Mm -hmm. uh, it's on an urban field. We are doing um, it's this site here. Uh, we are doing um, a, a, li a living. It's a, it's a it's a living project, a residential project, and we have started. Uh, like always with, with, with some grasshopper definitions uh, what, what bring us the possibility to, to try this in, in, in scale and how many floors you need, how many, uh, what is the system behind it and, and come up with, with some basic uh, information uh, for, for the client, um, how many flats are possible, what is the size of the whole system, how many, uh, you know, different stuff. What is if we, we do uh, more floors, for example, uh, uh, 10 floors, I don't know, to, to tell you something as runs through the, the whole system. It takes a while because it's my laptop, sorry. Um, and then, then, then try uh, doing this, yeah. And so um, this makes it so, so, so quick and so um, it's more or less endless and, and do this by hand uh, just to change uh, five floors more, you need a lot of time. Uh, it's not necessary. Uh, we do scripts like this in, 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 in a half day, more or less, you know, and it's so handsome. It's so, uh, so, so cool to work, to try, um, if you do a mistake, uh, you can use uh, some parts of it and try it again. Yeah, um, normal stuff for us. And then go away and away and away, more detailing, more detailing, more detailing, um, up to construction. We never, we never uh, do it different using Revit Insight, using uh, Grasshopper for Archicad, uh, Many, many different ways to, 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 to build or to use parametric stuff. Today we are pleased to have the architect Peter Wimmersberger from hub for architects with us and we will be diving into the topic of parametric architecture. Uh, so again, thank you for joining us and sharing your approach with our community of architects. If you can introduce us a bit to the type of work you do at, at Hub for Architects. Yes, I do. Um, we are a small company based in, in Upper Austria. I'm doing a parametric design since the year 2002 or one. Long time. I started uh, at the University of Applied Arts in Vienna. Uh, by, in the class of Sarah Harit, and we starting we starting there uh, the parametric stuff with Patrick Schumacher, who introduced us to to develop our architecture based on parametric design. And so, uh, since ten or or maybe twelve years, I worked in practice. With, with this, uh, basically uh, I, I use Grasshopper. Grasshopper, a little bit of Python and uh, sometimes c -sharp, but not often. And uh, yeah, we, we trying to develop, uh, starting developing things uh, parametrically and ending basically on driving machines with this kind of stuff. So there are multiple types of iterations of uh, parametric uh, architecture, such as foldism, uh, blobism, uh, swarmism, yeah. tectonism. Is there any type of these that you mainly use at uh, uh, Hub4 I, I, or maybe another type? Yeah. No, 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 we don't use it in a specific direction. We use it um, based on uh, trying developing things really fast. For example, when we're developing a new building, we start parametrically uh, researching uh, some volumes, some uh, some really basic stuff mostly, 
uh, because we 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 are small. We have to to we use it just to speed up our, our process, and we never we never left the process. We we always use the data string the data string to to bring us to our final goal really quickly, but not specifically in a way uh, using parametric uh, for 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 like you explained it. Uh, for a specific direction in this in this mm -hmm. topic, um, we mostly we, we use it a lot to drive machines with it. This is our main focus. Uh, we are now working on a. For us, it's a a huge project at the moment because mm -hmm. we're starting to to code uh, to work without plans to to use the data to uh, to drive construction sites. Uh, especially on robots or CNC mill stuff or uh, uh, augmented reality. We're using Fologram, for example, and HoloLens uh, for connecting construction um, with, our, with our parametric uh, field. And we work a lot on, on this topic, uh, especially mm -hmm. because we are really interested to, at the end, we build with robots building with machines, automating uh, stuff, because we, we downsize the costs a lot with this knowledge. And we are able to build uh, stuff what we are, can't do uh, in typical normal construction ways. The, does this influence the design as well? The, the yeah, a lot. And a lot. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. uh, we are... We are mostly looking, uh, for example, we are looking, now we are, we are doing a lot in timber construction and we're doing a lot of research what types of machines are on the Austrian or on the German market at the moment. And to understand what, uh, what type of construction or type of fabrication is possible, and we do we do another way because we we drive the machines parametrically on based on NC codes coming out from Grasshopper or from from Hypermill. It depends. Um, uh, for example, I think it's mostly impossible to 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 give you this huge range of possibilities in development and in sketching. What you can do uh, parametrically, you can research tons of, of different uh, sketches and, and try and error, and but you never lose the data behind it because you can frame it at one size and then, or you can bake it and start another script based on this on this on this uh, structure. So that's uh, what I found is really really helpful and uh, brings architecture as we think it has to be on, on the way, uh, on, on, on the construction way, mm -hmm. uh, because you're not able to build uh, stuff without robots or CNC uh, uh, in a normal way, you know? Um, and this combination is so great and so huge, and that's why we, are losing, uh, we use it so much. Uh, so can you tell us a bit more about CNC coding? CNC coding is, uh, we are doing this 20 years, 25 years now, uh, also with robots, um, up to eight axes. And uh, we are doing this a lot in milling still, but also in handling. We are using robots for, for, for handling stuff. Um, and we want to... We have our own timber construction system now. Mm -hmm. It's not real, not finished at the moment, but uh, we are close to. And um, what is helpful um, when we're developing parametrically a new concept for for living? For example, we're doing a lot, a lot of living um, projects at the moment. We are able to behind the scene. Um, doing a, a, a timber construction system and 
come out with a with a with a with joints and 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 every connection in the in the timber is 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 based on the parametric script that we have and at the end we 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 try to don't do normal plans 2d plans we mostly try to to do nc and isocodes coming out of just normal curves, vectors, uh, mathematical stuff coming from, from, from the parametric system and drive the, the, the CNC machine. We have a, a, a really simple example on, on the design uh, focus, which is the Fibonacci uh, lamp. I don't know if you have seen it. It's basically driven by the Fibonacci sequence. It's a mathematical sequence. Uh, and we, sorry about that. Uh, and we we drive the CNC direct, the machine direct, and uh, basically the CNC machine bring us the design what we want to have. We we only draw a curve, and by the tool and by the by the vector what we are what we are milling on it, it that the the CNC is more or less creating the lamp mm -hmm. or doing the pattern on it. Uh, there's a pattern on it. And this is based on the on the on the type of fabrication. We use a lot. Uh, we we are doing a lot of research in in how fabrication works and uh, what it can do. And this influences the designs we're doing with the with the milling uh, pathers. We're doing the patterns, or the system base, or, or is the base for our design more or less. The production system and we do this also in 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 bigger scales like mm. the timber system on the scale of a building uh yeah yeah scale of construction yeah so you use the cnc coding on the scale of uh, uh furniture on the scale of building uh yeah. maybe modules for buildings as well or yeah okay yeah we are we are trying to 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 use the parametric stuff for a lot of things, uh, optimizing uh, floor plans, for example, optimizing um, uh, volumes. Uh, but this is um, in the developing phase. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so then we start to froze it. And when, when we froze it, we go more in deep. But basically, uh, for example, we have a project called uh, New Ways of Living, where we developing some facade stuff really early because it's a it's mostly a cost a cost efficient um uh topic uh because when you when you do really freaky things like uh banded uh surfaces or stuff like this you always have to think in how you fabricate it and how you can sure that uh the costs are not running out mm. of your budget and that's why we are using really early parametric stuff and CNC stuff to try these things um, to be sure that we are able to produce it and to be sure that not run out of costs. Because this is important, I, I guess. Um, because we are here in a small country. Um, we are not in Dubai or, or some somewhere else, uh, and we try to bring different type of architecture, like coming out with free forms or other type of systems. In the moment, we're working a lot with, with banding structures in 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 the timber world, uh, and this is um, this is really cool because um, you can. If when you know how to produce it, you know the costs really early, and then can you follow the road and follow till the end, and don't end up with a really huge problem at the, at the end, or have to to lose your design somehow, you know? Uh, to be cost effective, uh, this matter will influence the form of a structure, the form of yeah. uh, the maybe the material used as well. Uh, yeah. And it will influence the parametric design in general. So your approach by knowing uh, the final result and what's most cost effective will help you decide the 
from the earlier phases in the project. Right. Right. We we think a lot then uh, which type of material, which type of uh, system we use in a really early state of uh, developing something. Because when you when you go to the client and presenting your first sketch, for example, and coming up with something really really um, freaky somehow, um, if you didn't know how to fabricate it or how to construct it. You run in a big in a in in a big problem, I, I guess, yeah. Uh, because when you know uh, the basis of the system, you are sure that this works. You are you are you you can follow it and and, and try it out. We do a lot of uh, trial because we have our own CNC. We have a workshop. We we, we try this stuff and. Uh, and based on this knowledge, you are quite sure, uh, also for the client, you can present him, look, I have tried it, it worked quite fine, and we are sure we are not running out of the cost. And this gives you a secure, secure in both directions. And yeah, we, 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 we force it a lot. And I think it's impossible without parametric, uh, working parametrically, uh, because... Uh, it's. Uh, I can't imagine work without parametric stuff. Uh, I do it ninety nine percent on everything, more or less, smaller and bigger. Normally, we, we do a lot of small scripts just to make life easier. How you would define parametric architecture? How we define it? Good question. Um, Parametric architecture is, is, I think it's a tool. I think it's, um, hopefully I'll stand you right. I think it's um, it's a tool for uh, make you, make you or bring up the possibility to, to develop and design thing what, what is in your mind, it's what is in your head, what, what makes it much more easier. Or possible to 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 sketch it up before par before parametric design. Um, or David Rutten comes up with the explicit history plugin twenty years ago. Uh, it was really really time consuming to try to you know you sketch something out in 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 police, uh, but you are slow parametric. The parametric work brings you really in, in, in every direction. It brings you so much uh, possibilities and time, sorry. And uh, this is a tool. I think it's a tool. Mm -hmm. It's not um, many people understand it as a, as, a, as, a, as a design system. I don't think so because you are, you are coding the system. Mm -hmm. You are doing uh, the basis on it. It's driven by your mind. It's driven by your head. It's nothing what's coming. Mm -hmm. Sure, there are uh, there are systems where you can where you can driven by an algorithm uh, to to find a way. But this is also based on your mind, and I don't think it's uh, it's a it's a it's a it's a system for us for what comes out of the computer. No, I think it's always based on, on what you are doing, what you are forcing, what you are, um, you know what I mean? I think okay. it's a tool. Yes. It's a tool uh, like many others also. I think it helps a lot. It brings up um, tons of possibilities and millions of functions and makes programming really easy. Before before the the, the the Grasshopper plugin comes out, I mean, it was quite complicated to program. You have to to use uh, scripting. In we start with Mel, for example, in in, in Maya. Um, it, it was slow. You you write something really slow. It hard. It's hard to learn. And the parametric stuff is quite easy to learn. And it's not so complicated. And brings out that many of, of, of possibilities.
And this is an amazing tool. Uh, I love it. it. It influences the type of architecture being created. At the end, you decide what type of seed you use. For example, if you're, if you're using randomness in, in a... Um, you as a designer decided because you like the form, you like uh, something what is coming out or, you know, but I think it's a tool um, because in the past you use uh, normal physical models to find a way uh, with cutting and, and sanding and, and stuff like this to find a form. Now you can use the, the, the computer to, to, to bring the form or to develop the form what, what is in your mind uh, on a system, then you can cut it out, for example, with a CNC machine. But it's more or less the same thing. It just makes things easier. And I think it's a tool. It's nothing more. It's nothing fancy or, or for sure you can, in some parts, it, it's true what you mean uh, that uh, if, you, if you try or you solve, uh, with a solver, you, you, you're running a script and, and coming up with 100 ideas, and then you decide which one you want to use. Um, yeah, for sure, this is a part of, of uh, finding a form. But behind the scene, it's, it's the tool what you are programming to, to find this. I think it makes it more easy, but it's, it's not, not the, I understand it in this way. So uh, this is our last question. Uh, I want to ask you if you have any advice you would like to give uh, to young architects uh, that are just starting in architecture. Yeah, I, I do because um, I, I think you, 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 you should, uh, as you're young and you feel this energy in what you are doing and feel this uh, this fr this free uh, uh, mind in your to when you're designing something, and then you come on the on the on the on the business level, mostly going down because uh, you know you work in the real world, uh, uh, this fancy. But stay on the way. Try to find a way to to never lose what 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 you want to create. Be creative. Um, is the is the most important thing as as an as an young architect as an architect uh, itself and uh, the rest uh, try to to find a way to to bring it on earth to you know what I mean to uh, if you are mostly the 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 designs or the freakness especially on parametric. Um, coming up with some forms what are impossible to build. And when you are uh, joining the, the, the global market, uh, mostly the projects are dying because of costs. Mm -hmm. And when you use parametric stuff and connect it with the robot CNC and automatic fabrication system, what's not at the moment on the on the construction business but it's more automotive and 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 other businesses uh, but when you try to bring this in you are able to build this and you're able to 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 force your 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 architecture your design your your, your thing and i think you have to to really don't lose your way because uh, I think it's so important to, to stay and to try to build what, what you want to build. Mm -hmm. Don't do it another way. Don't see what is, on the, what is possible in the world and what not. Try to, to construct your, your, your development, your architecture. I think this is the, the thing what I want to say to young people. Hello again, my name is Yad Energy and I am the founder of ArcAnim. The videos that we make on this channel are handled by different talented people. And we tend to experiment a lot with the type of content that we provide our community of architects. These videos are supported by our architecture rendering business called Vivify Studio. 
So if you want to support our work and you want to see more educational content like this one, please feel free to check the link below for Vivify portfolio. And if you like our work, we'd also be very happy to be working together. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more educational content.